My name is Mike, and this is the Hot Seat. Folks, I just did one breaking news. Arlen Specter practically calls Rick Santorum a liar. Check it out. This edition of the Hot Seat is the definition of treason and a partial list of the constitutional infractions committed by our Sultan-in-Chief, Barack Hussein Obama. And folks, I've included a link in the description field for the entire list. It's a long one. And yes, Hussein is not alone. The Constitution has been breached by many presidents. But since he's the current one, he's on stage right now. So let's get to it. Treason. A breach of allegiance to one's government, usually committed through levying war against such government, or by giving aid or a comfort to the enemy. The offense of attempting by overt acts to overthrow the government of the state to which the avenger, offender owes allegiance, or betraying the state into the hands of a foreign power. Treason consists of two elements, adherence to the enemy and rendering him aid and comfort. And that is what I'm going to basically stick with. Obama and Congress have committed the following constitutional infractions. Violations against the First Amendment of the Bill of Rights. Mandatory birth mandate on religious institutions. Introducing SOPA, PIPA, kill switch, etc. to control internet activities. And again, folks, I'm just giving you a piece of all of these infractions. Violations against the Fourth Amendment of the Bill of Rights. Continuance of the Patriot Act, which we know was signed under GW. Signing NDAA, which now U.S. citizens can be detained, arrested, and assassinated without due process. Obama and the National Security Strategy, released in May, allows for the targeted assassination of U.S. citizens, including homegrown terrorists, without due process. And even though they are terrorists, and they should be brought to me, they should get a military tribunal and executed. But that's still due process, though. Violations against the Fifth Amendment of the Bill of Rights by allowing local law enforcement to set DUI traps and asking us to waive our Fifth Amendment rights by asking if we have been drinking without probable cause. And folks, for those of you that don't know what this is, you're driving along the highway, all right? I see a bunch of flashing lights. You are detoured into a parking lot of, let's say, a mini mall. Several police vehicles are waiting for you. Police officer walks to the door, knocks on your window. You roll it down. And the first question is, sir or madam, have you been drinking tonight? And let's say you have. By the cop asking you that question, the officer is violating your Fifth Amendment rights of self-incrimination. He's asking you to waive that and admit to committing a crime without probable cause. Because let's say you are over the limit. If you're driving straight as an arrow and you're not a danger to anyone, the police have no right to pull you over without just cause. That's a violation of a Fifth Amendment right. And by allowing local police force to do that, the local municipalities, the state, and ultimately the federal government are committing a constitutional infraction. Numerous violations of the public trust. Obama passed the DREAM Act by executive order usurping Congress, which aids illegal aliens through prosecutorial discretion all to garner votes for his election. The Heritage Foundation has provided extensive proof that illegal aliens and immigrants with green cards are committing rampant voter fraud. 
misuse of the people's resources. Obama and his incompetent advisors have wrecked economic tyranny on the American people, all the while calling for the rest of us to endure economic sacrifice. The bankrupting of the nation, the states, and the people. National debt has gone up nearly $16 trillion, 20% of the country relying on government assistance. In one year, Obama and his lackeys doubled our national debt, which took previously 200 years to accumulate. Obama and his Justice Department sided with a foreign government, Mexico, when they sued the state of Arizona in order to force the continuation of illegal immigration. For the complete list of infractions and acts of treason, please see the link, again, that I have included. Based on this evidence, I submit to you, the American people, whomever votes for Obama or any other Republican or Democrat is aiding and abetting continuous acts of treason and therefore guilty of treason against the Constitution of the United States of America and the people thereof. My name is Mike. This is the hot seat. Revolt with the vote. Ron Paul, 2012.